Um, and to me, I think maybe that's their strategy. Maybe that's what Hani and Chris are planning on doing differently is bringing in a bigger version of Chris than we've ever seen before. I know. And so far, you know, based on what we've seen from Chris, I'm still going to stand by my prediction that he looks insane here. This is a classic physique. Those crazy big forearms. That was another thing that you would see a lot with guys like, you know, Mike Menser, for example, had a very similar physique. Blunt, my top three really is looking like start out with the physique update from Chris Bumstead. He doesn't say specifically when this is from. He says he's posing in the gym um, from a little bit ago, so it's kind of a vague caption there, but I'm assuming it's around this seven to eight week out mark um, based on some of the updates that we saw from him recently with Hani Rambod. We know those announcements and those videos were recent, um, and he looks pretty pretty comparable to how he looks there. So my opinion on everything that we've seen of Chris Bumstead going up until this point is that he looks really big. To me, he looks bigger than in previous preps. Um, and to me, I think maybe that's their strategy. Maybe that's what Hani and Chris are planning on doing differently, is bringing in a bigger version of Chris than we've ever seen before. I know he's got a little bit of room to play with as far as the weight cap for his height. Um, he is a taller guy, so he has a little bit of a higher weight limit than the other guys already. So he was already one of the bigger guys in that lineup because of his height. Um, but it looks to me, at least upper body wise, he looks huge. And maybe that makes sense to why he's working with Hani. I mean, Hani is a guy that has coached so many open pro bodybuilders, really big guys. And Hani is known for more of his like healthier approach um, to putting size on these guys. So maybe that's what Chris was looking to do was come in bigger, put on some size, but do it in a healthy way. And Hani is really the guy to do that. And so far, you know, based on what we've seen from Chris, I'm still going to stand by my prediction that Chris is going to win another Olympia title this year. Um, if I was a betting man, I would bet on Chris right now. If, if you could bet on bodybuilding, I would bet on Chris right now. I think the guys that have been placing below him are fantastic. Terrence, Urs, Ramon Dino, and we're going to talk about them in a second. But I just think from an overall structure standpoint, his overall look, his overall stage presence, and now you know the size that he looks to have. I just don't see anybody beating Chris yet. Any of those guys um, just having the size to beat him. And I know that it's classic physique. It's not about size. It's a lot to do with shape and structure um, and posing, which is why I think Terrence does so well. But when you take that classic shape, that classic size, those classic proportions, those classic poses, and you put it on a really big bodybuilder because that's what Chris is, it's just a really dangerous, complete combination. I don't see Chris being beaten. Now, we did get a physique update at seven weeks out from Urz Kalsinski. Um, I think Urz has looked phenomenal in basically everything that we've seen. And really, this isn't that revealing of a physique update compared to what we've seen of him before. I mean, a couple weeks ago, we saw basically a full posing video from him where he showed off the fact that he already had striated glutes. I think it was at nine weeks out, and he has the caption on here, had some cookies last night. So not only does he look shredded, but he looks really full, I think was the point of this update. His delts look crazy capped, crazy round. And I, I see Urs moving up a couple of placings this year. I don't see Breon placing ahead of Urs this year. Last year he did. This year, I don't see that happening. So I think Urs is going to insert himself um, a little bit more into that conversation. I think he's improved a lot over the last year or so. And I think that's going to be reflected in his placing. Now, in addition to that update from Urs, we got an update from Ramon Dino. And Ramon, at seven weeks out, um, he looks pretty insane as well. And I got to say, looking at this picture in particular and looking at some of the other videos I've seen of Ramon, I think it's safe to say that he probably has the best forearms in classic physique. It's really actually pretty insane if you look at it. I mean, he really kind of reminds me of like a Phil Heath forearm or like a Lee Priest. He's got that kind of Popeye, just crazy round. His forearms look almost as big as his biceps, which is pretty crazy. Um, and Ramon is another guy that I see moving up. And I think the main way these guys are going to move up is I see Breon moving down and these guys becoming more of the conversation for the title. I think right now, um, I really think Urs is a little bit ahead of Ramon. So my top three really is looking like uh, Chris winning. I think Terrence is still going to be second, Urs in third. But I think the battle is really going to be Urs and Ramon and not so much Breon in that conversation because I just think these young up-and-comers, they're too good. I mean, they're just they're just better. And look at Ramon in this update. He looks insane here. This is a classic physique. Those crazy big forearms, that was another thing that you would see a lot with guys like, you know, Mike Menser, for example, had a very similar physique. Blunt